Hello everybody, welcome to today's reading. We have finally made it to December. We're going to be looking at what December is bringing. There's a lot of interesting things happening astrologically in December. Um, as always, thank you guys so much for tuning in. If you're interested in astrological predictions, I'll have my Patreon link down below. Otherwise, we're going to get right into your reading. We have five piles today. You can take some time to pick with your intuition and timestamps will be down below. Hello Pile 1, welcome to your reading. So this month is going to bring shadow work and I know you guys are like, sis, please, no thank you, I'm done, I'm done with the shadow work. But we have Venus going retrograde. Venus is about love and Venus is about what brings us pleasure. Um, things we do for our own enjoyment. Wow, the shadow work is going to pay off though. We have the Empress coming up. We have the Four of Cups. We have the Ace of Pentacles. Oopsie. The, oh my god. We have the Three of Cups. And we have the Four of Swords. This is actually going to pan out to be a really good month for you guys because you're giving off this strong leo energy where you have so much to offer be generous of spirit and i feel some of you guys being like can someone bring something to the table like you're tired of being <laughs> being the one who's been carrying all of this with so much strength carrying this light carrying your talents whatever it is and it feels that there has been you know you 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 radiate this brightness like you walk in a room everyone's magnetized to you it's the empress energy it's so abundant and um i see you actually attracting some sort of opportunity okay you're attracting in more money or you're attracting a financial opportunity that you're going to be celebrating and it's the holidays so generally you're having a good time there's going to be celebration and there's definitely going to be laughter and connection this month but i feel when you enter the month um you're feeling a little bit disconnected sometimes not all the time but it's there this feeling of like i want to feel connected i just want to feel like i'm flowing and i'm exuding and feeling this love you know and with saturn in pisces you know pisces is that like connection to source which is when it's when it's um pisceans are advanced and know how to handle their energy they can feel so much but it's so amazing like it feels so good to be able to feel everything to kind of feel like you're bringing heaven onto earth but with saturn it feels like you guys have been cautious you have been focused on the material plane a lot focused on attaining things focused on doing things the right way and so much of that has paid off and led you to the point where you are which again the empress is such an abundant energy like people are in awe of you but it feels like sometimes not only do you not let your guard down with others it's hard for you to let your guard down with yourself and when venus goes retrograde the things we have been in denial of is coming to light sometimes we think we've cried enough over something but it's still there some sort of pain this can root as far as into childhood but you know past relationships this is the month where we're feeling everything um the four of swords um you guys will also need rest this month because i see you're working very hard so you're gonna need those moments it's best that you accept that this feeling and healing is happening and it's for your betterment like not be afraid of it and we may also be acknowledging for some of us how have we made others feel sometimes in the light of our own pain we can't see how we may be affected other people so that's coming up part of your shadow work here we have the goddess kali um is your relationship with women there's been some destructive attitudes that you have seen in women, seen in a mother figure, um, within yourself, and it's actually been reflected 
onto certain aspects of your life so we're going to part of your shadow work again is going to be relationship with women and healing relationship with women and how we view other women and how we view ourselves um i can see with the letter and in combination with saturn you guys are awaiting some sort of communication we're going to clarify this energy um pile pile one it's happening for you in december nothing will come out of the situation void of course moon it feels like we can't force things we really have to sit with some things and accept them especially as we're entering the new year again for our betterment to heal to reflect and not pretend that something isn't hurting or something isn't true in a sense and embracing the void you know and from there you will birth a lot because again your ability to manifest is powerful with the empress as you overcome and go through this shadow work it's going to like allow you to again birth a lot of things in your life as you face this okay december is about taking risks and stepping out of your comfort zone because you again you are the lion spirit you are the lion people are out here thirsty in the savannah for your energy but also this can speak about careers and opportunities like that are just waiting for you the lion because you've done a lot of work on yourself you've been disciplined i see you being disciplined in december um so this is saying where do we where do we take a risk where do we take a chance on something we really that's going to be part of your shadow work like stepping out of your comfort zone not doing the same thing what the universe is saying for december do something differently take risk and you will notice how heavily it is going to pay off in the upcoming months from doing that um it feels as there's almost this numbing energy because your stone is carnelian um you guys can work with the stone it'll increase um your creativity your sex drive as well if you're just feeling like <laughs> no one is doing it for you no one is exciting you type of thing or you're you know part of that could be fear fear of allowing yourself to feel and you may not even believe that because some of you are like no i want passion but not even kind of acknowledging some of the pain that is there sometimes the shadow work is doing things that scare us taking risks you know in that sense it says who needs the stone the understimulated anybody looking to get acquainted with their fears oh my god yeah literally what i just said hello fear my name is your name we have some beautiful work to do aka shadow work together now be quiet and let's do this whenever you want to inject some passion and confidence you're abundant you're beautiful you're magnetic you are all these things with the empress it's just about truly believing it you know fully um yeah guys the, i am really feeling a strong calling for you to work with carnelian this month um let's pull some more tarot cards what's happening for pile one the hermit it's like you've been on your healing journey for a while and it in a sense it needs to continue to happen to research to go within but also make space it's not about being the hermit forever you know having those moments this month where you do something different um the ace of swords clarifying the empress in december you are really seeing who you are you're seeing your beauty you're seeing your inner divine feminine energy and your ability to attract things into your life we have the ace of wands there's going to be an inspiration through an opportunity okay a new project um you buy something um a financial inspiration you guys have options you know you could easily make new friends find new friend groups new communities new people to even just date if you're single that option that risk is viable for you we have the four of swords clarifying the four of swords we're gonna be tired this month okay so um 
validate that validate that you need your rest and you sometimes will need your space and a break from certain things um what else should we pull here let's okay let's do one last card for you guys pile one sensitivity you're very yeah you're going to be sensitive this month and you're going to have to make changes to kind of help that sensitivity bloom to bring things in your life that help you feel emotionally good because your sensitivity and heightened emotion and ability to face your emotions you know the more you do that know that your sensitivity and your emotions are a strength even though probably in the past it didn't feel that way um a lot of you guys are very intuitive some of you guys are going to be working with tarot or oracle or something like that this month. Uh, so that was your reading pile one. If you want to book a more in-depth personal reading, I'll have my information down below. Thank you so much. Take care. Hello, pile two. Welcome to your reading. So we have Mars and Capricorn in the ninth house. I'm getting... A positive energy because Mars is exalted in Capricorn what it's gonna do is give you a lot of drive a lot of momentum and it's like stable and consistent um, there's this like steady growth that is happening for you in December and with the tree card it feels like you're choosing to nurture yourself you're choosing to take care of your mental health and your well like overall wellness of being um, and it's helping bring inspiration in terms of like the things you want and what it's kind of doing is creating all these possibilities of what could be with capricorn here there's some of you who are still kind of realistic and kind of are like oh i still have to be like realistic even though you're creating this growth there's all this with you there's this like potential because you're going through such a phase of of growth you're literally up leveling at the moment and the universe is saying like continue to trust this i see you offering a lot of love and and nourishment not to just yourself but also people around you and um you're in a you're at a good point so i see that there is someone potentially who's insincere insincere or undependable in your life and to not focus too much on those people who you can't count on because again the message here is you've got a good thing going for you and you're, you're you've got this like discipline and just momentum and intensity and the universe is saying what do you want to do today not what do you want to do you know tomorrow months from now instead of i feel like you're focusing on the big picture which is great which is why you're able to kind of figure out these plans and create this growth but at the same time it's asking what do you want to do today um, because if you trust what you want is coming you're going to do what you feel like doing you're not going to be in your head about bringing everything together it's just going to naturally come so we have strength you have tamed a lot of demons you have done what feels like a lot of shadow work on yourself we have the wheel of fortune this is such a good month we have the nine of pentacles and we have the nine of cups there's a wish that is coming true money looks good finances look good something is changing okay this month is not going to be the same as last month. There is something that is coming through here. I see an increase, something you have been wishing for, something that's going to allow you to have more freedom and independence in your life is definitely coming through. Those of you in school, your exams are going to go well type of thing. Overall, this feels like a month of a lot of growth for you. A lot of feeling whole, feeling whole within yourself. We have what do you need to release waning moon so there still could be something we're kind of holding on to again i need to be realistic um your stone is rotenite it says when that cubicle life has got you down when it's time to drop the people pleasing facade and start doing something that really lights you up with capricorn's influence 
you feel even leo's influence you feel this obligation but the universe is saying how much more can you trust how much more can you trust that you can have what you want and how much more can you expand what you want like where have you limited yourself in that sense because you've done so much work on yourself it's way more easier to attract things it's saying follow your heart don't follow your mind in december follow your heart again some and some this change that's going to happen it's going to trigger this you're going to be like oh my god i've been wanting this but does that mean i have to let something go to fully have this and again it's like the universe saying like let it go let it be so you can fully embrace what your heart wants in the moment maybe even who your heart wants right with rod and i am getting like this is about following your heart um when you're ready to use your real unique powers to actually make this rapidly spinning planet a more beautiful place by following what your heart wants right now and listening to your heart and not like even maybe again in terms of love this can also speak about that it feels like you can trust that more um you just have to let go of some sort of practical mindset again your practicality and your dedication and drive is your strength and it's gotten you this far but it's almost like we want to bring in the other aspects because opposite of capricorn is cancer so bringing more of our heart into this space because you guys are ready to build a home you're like i see a lot of you guys like making vision boards or thinking about your future home and your future dreams that's coming up a lot there's a lot of inspired energy coming for you um pile to what is december bringing it's asking again for courage courage to follow your happiness it says courage and delight yeah again the courage to follow your joy because um, as you follow your joy more of this happiness and wish fulfillment that's already coming in december is just going to continue we'll do a couple more we have resurrection we have ascension there's some chaos that you are being asked to ascend because you guys are ready for your level up you're ready for your resurrection you're ready for this next phase like there's even more wish fulfillment that's meant to come your way more growth because of all the dedication you have put in it's just the courage to follow that courage to follow um what levels you up versus feeling like what you need to do what you've been conditioned to do literally it's as easy as being like what do i want in this moment and doing that and not overthinking the future too much we have the star the chariot you're going after what you want we have the four of pentacles so there is that little bit of oh my god i have to i have to save and protect and i have to like things might not go as i wish but it's almost like the universe is saying there's this energy and vibration about you right now that can attract a lot there's this drive there's all this inspiration and passion by the end of this month you're feeling excited and you're feeling fired up about what your new year is going to bring and again you guys are going to have a wish that is coming true for you this month so i'm picking up on capricorn um cancer aquarius aries scorpio ninth house sagittarius leo placements and fixed sign placements if you'd like to book a more in-depth personal reading i'll have my information down below thank you so much for watching take care hello pal three and welcome to your reading now this is intense we have pluto in the fourth house and we have saturn in the first house fourth house um and then we also had insecurity come up and we also have the sun so before i even pull your tarot cards there is going to be happiness and joyous stuff happening and situations we'll look at more specifically that are going to be bringing this light into your life this happiness into your life but it feels like we we're going back and forth between something and i think that's why you guys got the crystal ametri and it says make your big dreams your big life um for the chronically indecisive um 
you know if you it feels like you guys are wondering do i go left or do i go right and there's also this energy we literally have insecurity and then we have make your dreams your big life where you guys have been in situations and environments where that didn't nurture you where you were unable to bloom and it's like the universe is saying just because you were in those environments doesn't mean that your right for your wishes to come true doesn't exist like there's such a strong message here of being like you deserve what you want and it's time to go after it without indecision right that's the energy we're getting it doesn't matter how old you are it doesn't matter what you have been through you can still make a dream you want come true and that's like just coming through really strong so we have the world coming up makes sense we're at the end of the year we have the two of cups there is somebody who really loves you um whether you're in a relationship or not oh my goodness okay we have the seven of swords mm, this is a little bit confusing now so we're going to clarify these cards um why don't we do okay okay says great worry over nothing get back to the basics celebration fun enjoyment success with effort so your hard work is going to be paying off this month advice from a friend feeling tied down or frustrated you will be taken care of in difficult times you guys are very protective protected this month it feels like december is like saying you've been through so much transformation and you've been like in this through you you guys have just been through a lot i feel this year and so spirit is saying like have some compassion for yourself and it may be time for change with the seven of swords it may just really be time and there's a lot of inspiration with the two of cups whether this is through love whether this is through something you love doing to make those changes to shift from a state of kind of feeling like you're floating to feeling like the roots of the earth are connected to you and you're supported through everything you do um also being compassionate in regards to your emotions when you're when you're going through your emotions letting yourself go through them let's pull some more tarot cards um pile three what is happening for you in december queen of cups you have a lot of love for someone the lovers clarifying the two of cups justice in reverse clarifying the seven of swords the tower the page of pentacles okay i have to pull a love oracle card because there's something happening here there's been a situation which has not been balanced which has not been equal it feels like oh my god i'm gonna pull one more you guys are gonna be cutting something off in december you're gonna decide to leave the past in the past and kind of just move on um because this is a general reading it's you know hard to say what's going on in terms of the person's emotions and stuff like that but what i do see is for right now it's holding you back and you're seeing that in december with venus going retrograde it's going to cause you to like reflect on a lot of situations um we have soulmate we have new love we have engagement we have attraction i see you're gonna start to entertain new people or you're gonna have a new love that comes in because a past situation you're stopping a pattern this can represent for a few of you that there could be a new cycle with this person like you're getting some sort of closure you know we do have the sun i do see something making you happy this month um let's clarify this we have friendship we have the grim reaper yeah it feels like you let's do one more friendship it feels like you're you're putting something to rest 
you're ready for a transformation you want something balanced you want something equal you want something that creates balance in your life it feels right now you feel that you can't let love be the foundation of how you believe in yourself and how you lead your life and the things you go after it feels like right now your dreams need to be a focus which is why we're having this huge transformation in love and it feels like you're gonna have to be gentle with yourself with compassion because with the tower it's going to be it's gonna feel like a lot there's just gonna be this moment where you're like i'm doing things differently so whatever you've been doing in love there's gonna be this like change okay whether that's the change of reuniting or completely cutting something off it's going to depend again because this is a general reading you know um let's pull some maybe we'll get some more specific insights from this oracle what's going on for pile three in december love is a huge theme venus again is retrograde it feels like you need to let something go to make space for something new um to surrender surrender control as well and to allow something that creates balance in your life allow someone who's going to create balance in your life like who who is that if they're here great if they're not what are we going to do to like change that and you're going to have this major kind of upheaval and awakening in regards to that some of you guys it's going to be like people coming back from the past whether it's you or someone you're dealing with and having to really deal with what does this situation mean and what need what closure can you get from the situation what peace can you get from it um pile it feels like you can't really use love to escape what you're meant to be doing which is about finding your foundations it feels like 2022 is going to be about like laying solid foundation so you you're going to attract solid relationships you're going to attract just more stability in your life this month is about working on your foundation it's going to be about grinding because the, the you're laying the groundwork for your dreams to come true right make your big dreams your big life that's what's happening um are we staying in a situation because of insecurity and like calling it love that can be something that comes up um december is about healing like healing codependency or just healing emotional chaos in general so we can have adventures and then we can be patient we we don't feel rushed to make our dreams to come true as to fill a void instead we're creating more adventure in life and what december is doing with the sun is it's going to show light to what's fun what's adventurous what sparks something in you and makes you feel alive and i get this energy of there's going to be adventures with two of cups there's going to be like moments or people who are sparking something in you in it and are exciting you right we have celebration fun let's do one more card artist yeah following your dreams following your creative visions you could be really creative this month flowers feel like you're going to be focused on your beauty or reinvention your purpose is to bring divine healing light and love to the world you have so much love to give and your heart wants to do so much and you guys are capable of feeling so much immense joy so venus retrograde is really going to make you heal and face these things and get closure from them so you can start living this adventure so you can start feeling kind of like this free spirit and feeling like there's just potential page of pentacles so much potential and yeah i think that is what we're seeing for you guys I see Scorpio, fourth house cancer. Oh, there's some of you are dealing with restrictions due to home or family as well. Like, you know, so through healing, finding outlets versus feeling like if this thing comes in and saves me, like you're gonna move on from that. You're just learning a lot of lessons and overcoming and finding closure. So there is stuff rooted in family or childhood 
perhaps for some of you or just in general what makes you feel secure so also first house aries and we have capricorn earth sign strong scorpio we have libra placements water sign gemini and fixed sign if you'd like to book a more personal reading i'll have my information down below take care hello pile four welcome to your reading so we have saturn in gemini we also have the south node in gemini okay so we have the chariot in reverse it feels like you guys are reluctant to go after something uh, especially at the beginning of the month we have the tower coming up and it could be after something after someone um we have the seven of wands okay interesting um i feel like there's been regret about a situation like something you didn't go after maybe an opportunity or a situation that didn't work out we have the regret card coming up um you know you're not just going to be feeling regret this month but i feel like that's something you'll be dealing with especially with venus going retrograde you'll be kind of reevaluating that situation uh with the sun here there's still going to be you know a sense of happiness and well-being around you um there's something here with the tower there could be something that could happen with with family maybe um because we have weeping willow family sorrow something to do with their foundation kind of being shook up and it feels like december is coming in to say okay we may have some regrets about the past or feeling like we feel like we could have done things differently but now you know what you're going to do by a kind of really facing this and not suppressing it is you're going to start to rebuild seven of wands and you're going to rebuild it even better you know this is about this can also speak about maybe of a defensive energy of being scared to let people in um or in the opposite end again really fighting for what you want um you're really protective there's this energy of being protective of your integrity um protective of self not letting people walk over you that's also something i'm getting in december so let's clarify these cards there's something to do with something financially and i want to see if we have the ace of wands yeah there's something an inspiration or something you were passionate about which we maybe felt like we were having a difficult wow something is changing in december without a doubt the tower the three of cups clarifying the seven of wands we're definitely facing where we weren't nurturing our passions where we felt kind of limited um I, this is interesting i don't know i'm getting a lot of mixed messages so i want to keep pulling cards there's definitely going to be celebration and connection with the people around you oh we have pleasure it feels like december is saying it's time to enjoy yourself it's time to indulge and through that indulgence i actually see you guys attracting something it says something important such as a new job or a raise so there's there's going to be an opportunity for you and it may actually really take you by surprise with the tower coming up it's it could be an id it could be even an idea with the ace of wands like just an inspiration to go after something and you're it feels like in december you're ready to fight for it and make it happen um again this can if you've been waiting on a job or a raise or you've been waiting for more money to come in that is going to happen as well and i think it's going to allow you to like spend more money on yourself and the people you love it's the holidays um it feels like again the theme of december is it's time to chill out and like enjoy yourself and not stress with saturn because with saturn it feels like being cautious and responsible is great but sometimes it's nice to kind of unwind um your channeled crystal crystal oh my god can i talk with sugalite sugalite it says stretch the limits of your imagination when you're called to take your spiritual practice to another level it's easy to stay stuck in something that isn't working there's a comfort to safe and status quo december is going to shake you up and you're going to feel like why do i feel like i need to change things and that's because it's about like really stepping out of your comfort zone um i feel like it's about socializing and letting your hair down and like being kind of wild and free i'm really getting that energy for this pile because it feels like you've been ready for that and you've been waiting for that and like you've been building your confidence towards that and 
releasing the regrets and instead of focusing on what didn't work in the past it's like it's time for new beginnings it's time to rebuild things even better than they were before in a sense um there's an unknown out there with unlimited blissed out possibilities so have we tapped into our possibilities and like what's out there and i love how it says blissed out um yeah i feel like working with this stone guys is going to help you kind of escape the confines of space and time like it or you know you don't have to work with the stone but it feels like the energy that's being called forth here is to not be limited by space and time there's also an energy with the birds which speaks about communication there again you could get some sort of communication which really causes you to fight for something you want this could be again a second interview or something so you're like okay i'm really gonna fight for this type of thing and things could really work out in your favor that's just an example there can also be an energy of gossip okay either you're partaking in some sort of gossip or this gossip has been going around you or some of the circles you're possibly involved with um you could hear something about you or someone else you didn't expect to hear that can also come up um this can also represent like stalking on social media either someone is doing that towards you or you're snooping on someone um we have take time to breathe out don't let pride get in your way it feels like the universe is saying like watch out for your pride and ego don't again don't let the past or any regret stop you from opening yourself up and opening yourself up from expressing your talents or expressing your emotions because leo is all about express ex expression it's all about i haven't been able to talk today i had caffeine which i try not to do but anyways um letting your inner child express itself and play you know this month is all about playing and have fun the more actually you're able to kind of be happy and take care of your well-being the more you're going to notice Ooh, all these opportunities and inspirations are a lot more limitless versus this feeling of confinement again you are going to be attracting something um some sort of opportunity uh, some of you guys have been dealing with also it's not you it's the people you're dealing with who have like pride and ego which are getting which are which is getting in the way or something um yeah either pride and ego made someone else kind of hold you back in the past like their pride and ego made you feel like you couldn't go after something or your pride and ego or you're exhibiting a lot of strength this month um like ooh, it's time to know your worth guys and get deeper this month is like let's not it's i feel like it's calling for meditation it's calling for a feeling of expansiveness and knowing that there's so much that can come towards you and to get deep into that and a part of why it can be hard for us to get deep into that because we feel like it's not possible for me to have that because we don't see our worth you know because we've been through situations where we've been restricted and pulled back and maybe wanted to like escape with the south node your energy is like electric so you need that you need an outlet for that versus the south node can be beautiful because it can create like creative geniuses or on the other hand it can create es escapism almost in a sense so through knowing your worth and kind of stabilizing this energy of the south node of your past life knowledge you can get really deep and you want to get deep this month with the south node it's like we don't want any more superficial gossip or chatter we want to have deep conversations we want to do things that provide and give more depth into our life and there is going to be an opportunity to change that it's going to be forced upon us with the tower it's like almost going to be like there's no choice but to kind of face these things in a sense um, i'm seeing capricorn saturn gemini leo placements cancer placements scorpio placements you guys may be a little bit overwhelmed this month which is why again meditation could be really really helpful and help ground you and ground these ideas wow money is coming that bag that offer something is going to take you by surprise and it's going to bring more abundance in your life and i feel like it's going to be really exciting and there's a part of you that's like am i ready for this and 
wants to kind of maybe wants to self-sabotage it but i have a feeling you won't i have a feeling that you'll be able to overcome this because you guys especially in terms of your life purpose and path you're so supported right now like things and opportunities can come to you very easily and again something is going to be coming to you in some form of abundance and it's really going to help you feel supported even though the past version of you could have been like scared to know that you were worthy of it and this month is all about embracing i am worthy of this abundance and i can only make it grow you know make it multiply even more um is that everything yes so for more in-depth personal readings i'll have my information down below thank you all for tuning in take care pile five welcome to your reading so for some of you this stability that is coming in december it's been a long time coming others of you you may have already started to feel it but with the anchor um you're feeling a lot more grounded and especially those of you who have been going through like phases of transformation your channeled crystal was lapis lazuli um so i feel like you've been spiritually tested and sometimes we may go back to those unstable thoughts but it's like not the majority of the time it's just going to be sometimes and so it's kind of like the universe is saying yes you are the boss the queen the whatever whatever you want to call it that you think you are so like own it when you walk into a room own it that when you walk into the room of someone you like like yes of course they think i'm amazing um when you walk into an interview of course they think i'm a great candidate it's like this idea of like of course obviously and you're in a stable enough place where you can start really working with it you know um there's an overall sense of material wealth and spiritual growth coming from you uh coming for you some of you could even be getting an opportunity a financial opportunity or a raise or working on a project you know there's some aspects of your life where you're on the right path um there may be and anything that doesn't work this month it's it's because you're meant to stay anchored you're meant to stay grounded and you're not meant to be like disturbed you know you're meant to be there so whatever comes this month it's like coming because you're ready for it and if something doesn't it's just not right now type of thing if that makes sense so let's move in to this tara we have the queen of cups coming up we have the fool oh my god december is such a weight off your shoulder even though there's a lot of intense transits happening right now it feels like you can handle it also there's like you guys are gonna have secret admirers or just public admirers i you're gonna be getting compliments okay this can be compliments on your work just you as a person again um it just feels like you've come really far and we have the six of swords it feels like december is all about like just moving on and you're focused on your peace you're focused on you know your spiritual well-being your emotional well-being um and there's been a lot of like death rebirth processes probably to get to this point nonetheless you know you're at this point where you can kind of just begin to enjoy the ride more and for there will be gifts given to you this month and in regards to whatever else you want the universe is like you've come this far and some of you felt like you didn't know if you would get to this point just think back on the time so continue to have faith you're going to get to the next point you've been wanting to reach it feels like the universe is saying we're going to deliver it just continue to trust in yourself we have the tower clarifying the queen of cups there was a lot you had to do to kind of learn how to be emotionally stable we have the four of cups clarifying the fool and we have the two of cups clarifying the six of swords you'll be able to move on from any f like fears when it comes to love you i feel like you're just going to trust um what's meant to be will be in a sense some of you guys are in relationships um with the four of cups clarifying the fool here i think you guys are realizing 
that instead of being dissatisfied, we can be brave, we can take risks, we can be free, we can let go of the baggage of the past and see what we learn from it because at the end of the day, it's trying to teach us something. There seems to be something like an energy that's coming from you that's very wise, you know, the pieces of the puzzle are starting to make more sense. Oh my freaking god, King of Swords, bottom of the deck. Maybe I saw this and subconsciously that came out, but I don't recall seeing it. Um, but that makes sense, right, with the King of Swords there. There's like a wise and dignified energy for you here. Um, okay, what else do we want to pull? Pile five. Yeah, money looks good, finances look good. Any changes in your life, they're going to be for the better. And also there's this energy of embrace change, take risks, plan ahead for the new year, like, cause it can all very much work out in your favor if you let go. Now there is something we're obsessing about a little bit. You know, I think that's the four of cups and there are some habits we'll have to confront. This is Pluto's energy. So it's like you guys are being spiritually tested, but there's a lot of growth at the same time and the universe is saying, look at the good luck around you. You have a choice, right? You have a choice at what you look at and what you perceive and what you believe is possible ahead of that. Of course, you can choose, choose to look at what is or you can close your eyes and begin to create the reality you want and appreciate what feels good. Um, this is also, it feels like spirit is saying detox detox from things that aren't serving you this can be habits and stuff like that it's just gonna help you um it's gonna help you feel like more stabilized um and withhold your vision it's it's saying like fixate on what you want and like don't give up on it but don't be so stubborn and stuck you know if you've been feeling stuck be willing to let go of obsessing yeah if there's something to let go of it's like of of obsessing or of being paranoid or instead of like being stuck in your mental realm look at where you can kind of expand and grow and what you can do and see the power that you basically do have you know view yourself i mean there's this message of viewing yourself as royalty viewing yourself as important powerful like all of those things is just going to help kind of solidify this transformation and make it easier because i do see in some ways we we may be a little bit fearful at times um there's going to be some fun times and you know there's going to be some enjoyment happening for you in december as well because there's a lot of moving on we have all these retrogrades and eclipses happening this month um what else do we want to pull so we have strong scorpio we have capricorn saturn 12th house pisces strength again like everything you've been through has gotten you to this point of just you can handle things with a lot more grace and handle like things with a lot more empowerment than you had in the past so know that things can only get better from here and do your best to kind of focus on that and allow yourself to feel you know and and do whatever shadow work i feel like this is a big shadow work month with the eclipse and and facing our emotions act as if i feel like you guys feel as you've had to be really realistic and the universe is saying how would you act if you had what you wanted how would you be dressing how what would your self-care look like how would you be feeling you know tune more into that energy not for the purpose of manifesting what you want because if you do that there will be an attachment to the manifestation but for feeling good feel good for the sake of feeling good um okay and let's do one more cleansing Ooh, there's a lot we need to release and let go of enlightenment boldness again you have so much it feels like you want to research something you've become really enlightened about a lot of subjects and learned a lot 
um, you've been on this huge spiritual journey. So we just kind of have to cut off what hasn't been working, what we know isn't good for us, so we can boldly move towards um, freedom. So that was your reading pile five. If you'd like to book a more in-depth personal reading, I'll have my information down below. Thank you so much for tuning in.